The Singer Quantum Stylus 9960 comes loaded with accessories, including a walking foot. Now, walking foot is actually in the white box, and it is used a lot of times when people are stitching through multiple layers of fabric and batting. If you're working on any purses that have a lot of extra um, interfacing. You're working on flannels and the flannels are kind of waving on you, which also could happen when you work on fleece fabrics or stretchy fabrics. A walking foot can help assist keeping those layers coming out flat. And it does. There's actually teeth right here that actually are going to grip the top fabric while the feed dogs below grip on the underneath side. So they're going to kind of come together and then pull the fabric through the needle. For that action to actually be working, you are going to notice that this arm is what activates it. This arm, once we take this foot off and the ankle with a screwdriver right here, this arm will sit above this needle screw. So if for any reason you get it on and the arm is below it, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you that importance. But once you put it on, you're gonna find that your you can use any stitch you want. You can actually use a decorative stitch. You can use any stitch that goes forward and back. So the walking foot has a lot of versatility. It isn't something that I would just say put on and leave on all the time. You definitely wanna use it only when you need to. It's a little loud if you're just sewing on like two pieces of cotton. Um, but I have done it, <laughs> but just not for hours on end. Trust me, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I've taken off the entire ankle and foot with the screw off the side. So I usually like to keep them attached because they're easy to find and I'm like, oh yeah, there's my ankle for putting it back in on the machine. Okay, so I'm looking for this kind of C area. That's going to go around the post where my screw is going to come in on the left side. So I'm going to screw it in there and then I'm going to also be holding the arm up so as it comes around, I usually do it with my thumb, so keep your thumb up. Uh, under, or I should say underneath so it can hold that little arm up and then come around the post and then just kind of hold it there until you can get the screw started and then tighten it with the screwdriver. Slide the thread down between the two toes, lower the presser foot. It might, did you notice it's, it's kind of hard to see if it's actually up or down, but you do need to lower it down to work. And usually if you're sewing on something with batting, your stitch length needs to be a little, little longer anyway because the stitches are gonna look tiny. So I am going to come over and lengthen out the stitch length, three minimum, three and a half. It just really makes a nice finish there. So you do hear just a little bit extra sound, obviously, because everything's walking. Um, I will make a note with walking feet. If you use a walking foot a lot, you can wear these out. So just note that if you wear it out or something breaks or falls off, it's, it's really okay. It has a lifeline and eventually you're just gonna go and get another low shank walking foot and it will attach just like the first one. But look how easy it, it pulls the fabric through. It's just as easy to use, just like a regular presser foot.